Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm showing you how to build a door jump scare. Now, you don't have to do it at the front door, you can put it on any door you want. But once I open up this door, I'll be met with a jump scare, and then I also added another little surprise to it. So, we're gonna go ahead and open up the door. Boom, our jump scare comes out. <laughs> And if you heard that creepy sound that was going off, that was actually a gas suffocating. Now, that's only for creative. All you have to do is just put a gas in the floor coming out of a dispenser, and it'll suffocate, and it'll make that nice, eerie sound. But as you see, once we opened up the door, we got jump scared automatically. And another cool thing about this jump scare, you can go ahead and walk into the house where the jump scare came from. It doesn't block off the room or anything like that. So as you see, I walk right inside the house, and I'm going to hit this trip wire, and another gas is going to spawn. But as you see, I can walk right into the house, so you can put anything you'd like in here after the jump scare went off. Now, of course, with this one where you opened up the door, you can just go ahead and walk right past and then not even notice it so if you want to you can go ahead and set it up like this where if you hit a pressure plate a naked steve shoots out <laughs> and then the gas dies as well you can also put ice on the floor if you want to make it go out further this idea was inspired by a mumbo jumbo design and also one of my older designs from my five jump scare devices so right here is the mumbo jumbo one where if you click this button the jump scare shoots out from the door but as you can see if you do put something right here then you can't really walk inside here there's no room and then i set it up with my older one where the jump scare comes from the top of the door once you open up the door so I kind of fuse these two together to make a new jump scare device where once you open up the door it slings out and then also a gas sound goes off that's just optional you don't have to do that but let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys so for this build you're going to need one piston three redstone dust two tripwire hooks one piece of string we're also going to need a slime block one armor stand a minecart two powered rails and a door of your choice I'm just going to go ahead and use an oak wood door but you can use any type of door that you'd like to all right guys so once you have gathered up all your resources we're going to start off by placing our door down first so go ahead and look on the block wherever you want your door to go look off the block your door is going to be going and make sure to place it in backwards so i'm going to be walking through my door this way and it should be off the back side of the block that i want it to be on i do not want to place another door down next up we're going to go ahead and place a frame around our door so now you can see exactly where our door is standing when i open it up it should swing on to the outside and then go back in now we're going to go ahead and place our armor stand on top of this door so what we're going to do is come out two blocks from our door one two place down two powered rails and then go ahead and place our armor stand facing forwards wherever the front of the door is going to be so i'm going to place my armor stand right here and then you could dress it up whichever way you'd like next up we're going to take out a minecart and we're just going to push this armor stand until it's above the door you could go in as much as you want but make sure you have enough room out here so when the slime block hits it it pushes it out the door so i'm going to go ahead and just push this enough to where it's above the door so i'm going to go ahead and keep pushing my minecart until this armor stand is above the door like that perfect you can place it like that that should work absolutely fine as long as it's coming out from the back side enough we want the slime block to hit it and launch it forward once we open up the door next what we're going to do is come down behind our door this is going to be the inside of your door i'm going to come out two blocks this way one two break this block do the same thing over here one two break this block and go ahead and place down your tripwire hooks here and here and then we're going to place a piece of string right in the middle of our tripwire hooks. So once our armor stand falls down and hits the tripwire hook, it will be launched forward because this will activate our slime block. Next up, we're going to place a piece of redstone right on top of this block. Then we're going to come up another block right here and place down another piece of redstone right here. And then come out one more block right here with another piece of redstone. That should be all three pieces of redstone. And then place a block up in front of that piece of redstone. Next up, we're going to take out our piston place it forwards like this with a slime block off of it so once it hits that tripwire hook it will activate this slime block launching it forward so now we don't want to see this also i'm going to dress it up real quick i'm going to go ahead and just put a pumpkin on top of it so i'm going to take out a pumpkin and place a pumpkin on my armor stand next up we're going to hide our armor stand so we're going to come right over here and come out three blocks like this off the top of our slime block and now what we're going to do is take out a piston and face a piston downwards into this block and then we're going to have to send power to it. So send power to your piston and it'll push that block inside your armor stand. And then we're going to go ahead and do it one more time. Boop. And now our armor stand is completely hidden. And now you can dress up your house however you'd like it to be. However, once I open up this door, this will get launched at me. Now, if you want to add in the gas sound, you know, that creepy gas sound of it suffocating inside the floor. All you have to do now is just take out a dispenser. You're going to need a dispenser and you're also going to need some gas spawn eggs. So all I did was come underneath any one of these tripwire hooks. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to place a piece of redstone right underneath the block that the tripwire hook is on. And I'm just going to bring this down. I'm just going to bring it down until we are enough into the ground where our gas, where we can't see the gas. and But we can also hear it suffocating. So we're just going to come down enough. So uh, that should be enough. So come down one, two, three, four five blocks should be absolutely enough so now what we're going to do is place our dispenser right here you know what, let's place it underneath this piece of redstone dust right here so i'm going to place it right here 
and then go ahead and just place it in your gas tags and that's it so now once it spawns it will suffocate because it's going to be inside all of these blocks now we can go ahead and activate it and make sure everything is working so once i open up this door boop it gets launched at me and then also the gas will suffocate and then die making that creepy sound so i'm just going to quickly show you how to set it up with a pressure plate instead of having to open up the door and letting it launch out at you so let's go ahead and break this right here and i'm just going to show you how to quickly do it with a pressure plate so all i did was i came out seven blocks from the front door so one two three four five six seven and then place your pressure plate here then i dug underneath the pressure plate to so come all the way down and dig underneath it and we're going to place a piece of redstone right here then we're going to place a block right next to that redstone so we're going to place a block right here with a redstone torch coming off the side of it so if i click this right here as you can see the redstone torch goes off now what we're going to do is have to send power into this door so the door opens up so i'm just going to make a line going all the way over here to this block that the door is next to so dig right underneath this block and place on a redstone torch and as you can see our door opened up and we're just going to bring the power from this redstone torch over to the block that this redstone torch is on so we're going to delete all this so go ahead and just bring your redstone from this torch going all the way down to over there so one two three four and then right here i place down a repeater and i set it to one tick delay so once i hit this right here boop, the door opens up and the door closes so now we're gonna have to set it up so this launches our armor stand away so now we can go ahead and get rid of all this you don't need the tripwire hooks anymore that's no longer needed and we're gonna go ahead and set it up just a tiny bit different let me just get rid of everything i'm just gonna get rid of everything and we're gonna have to place our armor stand back in as well and we might have to remove this as well so so just leave your dispenser down there and we'll come back to that later because we're gonna hook everything back up together so now once this is right here all i did was i came out two more blocks right here so one two like that and then i came in one and then I came in another one like this two. And then I placed a block in front of that redstone with a redstone torch on top of it. A block on top of the redstone. And now all you have to do is just bring power from this block up to that piston. So all I did was I just came over to the side like I did with the other ones. And I just brought the redstone up like that. So we're just going to bring our redstone all the way up and around like this. And now our piston should activate as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these blocks just so you can see the piston activating. So I'm going to hit this. Boom. And as you can see, the piston activated just like that. Perfect. That's what we want. Now we're going to do is just place in our armor stand. So we're going to come out two blocks from our door again. One, two. Place down your rails on top of those blocks. Place in your armor stand facing forwards. And then go ahead and just hit the armor stand until it's above your door. So we're going to just hit this until it's above the door like that uh perfect there we go and then we can go ahead and break all of this and now we can go ahead and place in our pumpkin head on top of our armor stand and then all we have to do is just do the same exact thing is place blocks right above it and push them in with the piston so we're going to go ahead and just place the blocks right above our armor stand and then we're going to push that in with the piston so go ahead and place in a piston facing downwards and then send power to your piston and then do it one more time send power to your piston so now we can no longer see that armor stand so now all we have to do is just place in our slime block and everything should work so now actually let me go ahead and clean this up as well so we don't have to see all of this redstone right down here like this there we go there we go let's hide all of this stuff up and just to make this not look as suspicious as it looks right now all i did was i placed in a gate right in front of it so people will think hey you have to hit this to open up the gate and then i made it so there was only you know one way into the door by going through this fence right here so we're gonna go ahead and just like hide this up make it look like there's not a jump scare device here so once i hit this pressure plate boom our guy comes out and you know what? i didn't hook it up to the gas though so i'm going to show you how to quickly hook that up but as you can see everything did work so now to hook it up to the gas all you have to do is literally bring the power from this redstone torch to where we had it right down here where's the power there it is so we just got to bring our power from this redstone torch down over to here you know what we could also do actually we could just break these blocks out get rid of this redstone dust and then we could just put a redstone torch off the side of the block that has our redstone already on it like that and then go ahead and just place in two pieces of redstone and that will make our gas appear so now once i hit this pressure plate right here the jump scare will go off but since our guy's already out that, that was a little anticlimactic but that's it guys but there you guys have it that is how you build a door jump scare if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys boop peace